It's an adventure. An adventure is learning, and learning is an adventure. A wave from the top of Spirited Away, a Nordhaven 47 docked in Cocoa Beach, Florida, where Bay Bulletin caught up with the Watsons, a father and son who turned their boat into a school and made the Chesapeake Bay part of the classroom. My main interest is how all this electronic stuff works, because the person I want to be when I grow up is an engineer. It's safe to say he's wiser than his years. Salter Watson is only 13. He's in seventh grade now, but he was much younger when his dad picked up on his interests. This whole idea started with something I saw in Salter years and years ago, and that is whenever he was on the boats we have in northern Michigan, he was at his happiest. And not only was he at his happiest, he was also incredibly capable. So Salter, you're sitting in the captain's seat. Can you actually command that boat? Yeah. This is all of the breakers. But what I view is the magic behind it. This is all of the electronics and signals that run from the breakers to the individual systems. From their home in Michigan, they've been on the water for about a year and a half, and they're only about halfway finished with boat school. And the thing that I like about this is that you don't have to follow this strict schedule. That flexibility has allowed them to get out and explore the areas where they dock. They spent a month on the bay in the fall. And witness hometown stuntman Travis Pastrana jump over Ego Alley in Annapolis. That experience and many others are documented in their blog. We went across to Rock Hall and then down to Annapolis and then back over to St. Michael's to Oxford, Cambridge, Solomons, and then Deltaville, and Norfolk. From the Kunta Kinte Alex Haley Memorial, out to the Bay Bridge, to Dorchester County for Harriet Tubman's story of escaping slavery to freedom and learning about our coveted blue crabs. We did it because we heard about it from so many people that you could spend your lifetime on that bay and never go to the same place twice or never get bored of it. Recess is outside and they've picked up more trash than they ever imagined. He's become unbelievably sensitive to the environment. So how did they do it? Well, for starters. I was fortunate enough, however, to have enough financial success that I could retire young. After planning for about three years, they said goodbye to Salter's mom and two older siblings. Dad, the teacher, relies on the Khan Academy for core subjects. Their travels are a launching point for social studies. When we're going up and down the coast. We're learning things about the Civil War, the Revolutionary War, and also about Spanish who settled along the coast. Alex Watson plans to enroll Salter in sailing school outside of Miami. He wants him to interact with his own age group more than he has, and they'll spend time searching for a school for Salter to return to the classroom when he enters high school. I would say that when you're on a boat, you start to think a lot more creatively. When you're on a boat, nothing is in stone. And when nothing is in stone, all conditions on and off the water turn into teaching moments. We're at the point now where I feel we're gonna handle whatever you know happens to us. For Chesapeake Bay Media's Bay Bulletin, I'm Cheryl Costello.